All right, guys, hooked up to a fish, but I'm not gonna jinx it. Okay, I can see the bait, but I can't see the fish. All right, hooked up on a wreck here. We're just struggling to catch fish today, but we're, we're showing you guys how it's really done out here. Hooked the first fish of the day, and this thing is powerful. But we haven't caught it yet. Urgh. Collar. Let's go break it. It's a mic. Break it. Nice job. Whatever it is, it's huge. We're gonna find out what it is. Ooh, the, the jack. jack. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Goodness. Well, nice first workout for the day. Your old Jack Crabal. Ocean Jack. Let's have a hook in the corner. Woo! Nice, nice one. one. That's a nice one. Well, it was a J hook. The J hook is right in the corner of the mouth. Nice. Big old powerful jacks that put on a fight pound for pound. They're one of the hardest fighting fish ever. And this thing fought me all the way to the surface. So beautiful fish. Let me get him turned around. Beautiful fish. Just ate the most perfect pilchard ever. But they are on a wreck and he fought really good. So it's nice to bend some rods today for the first time and get on some nice fish, some wreck fish today. So we're gonna travel to a couple other wrecks, see what else we can get into. Get him, get him. There you go, Frank. Way to go, B. Can't hear you. Say something, something. He said, I'm hooked up and I'm so excited. I gotta check the drag for Frank. Back up, put it in reverse. Anyway, we're having a slow day of fishing, guys. Like Darcy was saying, we ran out. We caught bait this morning. We ran out to catch mahi. Didn't really see much. And uh, now it's starting to be the heat of the day, which it gets tough. So we're hitting some wrecks with some structure and uh, getting some bites. It's nice. Frank's hooked up. I'm hooked up. Oh, there we go. He spoke. Quiet down, Frank. Right. I think he's got a big jack, but we'll see. Frank just hooked up. We're trying to get Frank on his first fish here on the wreck. And Frank is releasing a ton of baits. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, he's going insane on the surface. So he just, is that a wallet or Frank? Take your right. time, take your time. All right, so Frank is hooked up. We're not really sure what it is. Something long and skinny, either a kingfish, barracuda, wahoo, but it was so cool because as soon as it ate the bait, he's gotta come over here. As soon as it ate the freaking bait, it did like a jump 20 feet in the air, crossed the boat to the other side. It was like the sickest thing ever to see. All right, let me get on there. Everything I say, Frank? I hope it's a wahoo. <laughs> it's not the barracuda. Probably. I don't know. It's a barracuda. They all think they all said wahoo. Darcy is always false. false. Darcy being, false identifies fish because he's so happy. I hope it's gonna be a big fish. Optimistic. I'm being optimistic. It's crazy. But anyway, we caught like 11 baits today, and Frank dumped four of them over the side. One pricked him, Stop. and he threw it like a girl. Stop. If he's not gonna talk up, I will. It's more. It's more fish he's released over the side than my brother. <laughs> I released two over the side that got stabbed, and then two of them lost once they got in the water. Like the exit. Okay. They were hard Frank, be quiet. <laughs> all of a sudden, now he's talking. Well, he's very chatty now that we blame him for throwing all the baits over. Got him. We got Frank's fish. Bigger than my fish. Look at those teeth, dude. Ah. Coming on board. Watch out, people. Woo! And there goes the hook, just came right out. All right, on a wire trace, there is Frank's stud barracuda. That's a fat one, nice and stinky. Woo wee! All right, Frank, you gotta hold up your fish now. <laughs> He's like, I'm good, thanks. Woo! All right, so we're gonna go ahead and release this bad boy. We don't really need them. Um, we don't eat the big ones. They are full of a lot of Probably Signaterra, at least the big ones do, with the wrecks and stuff they live on, so let's get rid of them.
get y'all hooked up on another wreck now. Local wreck in the area off of Boynton. And we are using this bent butt rod, which is a custom made rod from Barrett, Barrett Rods. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. But we've caught huge goliaths and huge sharks on this thing. Dropped it down in like 200 feet of water on a wreck with a big old bait. Now we're bringing them up. Excited to see what it is. Arr! It's up on the surface. Yeah, we did it. We got him! Solid fish! All right. Chill out. All right, check it out. You can see Mustad circle hook right in the corner of the mouth, doing its job exactly what we want here. A dot Mustad circle hook in line. So let me pop this out real quick. There it came, no problem. Actually bent it a little bit. So that is a beautiful Almaco Jack. This is not an amberjack, the greater amberjack. Very similar in the same family, but there are differences to him, including his dorsal here is much, much longer than a typical amberjack. And the shape of his body is different. It's not long and thin, but you can see also these uh, big old stripes by his eyes. They go all the way down to his mouth. And amberjacks have the stripe too, but they don't extend all the way down to the mouth. So that's the reason why I know, and I mistakenly identi misidentified one a couple weeks ago, but solid eating fish right there this is actually perfect size check the regulations on this guy but I'm pretty sure he's a keeper and he got stuff on the lens just check the rules and regulations on my phone from the Florida Wildlife Commission FWC and Almaco Jacks are unregulated and there's no established bag limit to them so that is perfect eating size fish right there really excited and I'm also gonna post the exact catch information like the rig the hook the bait the depth everything even the location on the fish angler app uh, check that out down in the description below and go ahead and connect with me there and if you follow me on fish angler i'll follow you back too another awesome day of fishing in south florida Darcyzle. another very epic day i gotta say darcy is just the greatest fisherman i know i'm her boyfriend but it's just incredible that she's out there killing it on her boat catching her fish thank you unlike some other people thank you <laughs> <laughs> she really does it all but anyway so we're out there on these great wrecks and I just want to tell you a little bit more about the rig. It's very simple. Darcy mentioned an 8 circle hook from Mustad. And we just put that on like an 80 pound monofilament leader. Um, you know, sometimes that gets bit off, gets bit off the barracudas, but uh, you know, also the AJs won't really bite unless you have that mono on there. So just a, you know, 20 or 30 foot of a mono or fluorocarbon leader, you know, with a big weight on there, depending on how deep it is. And uh, that's really the gist of it. Darcy will tell you a little exactly. bit more. And a lot of heavy weight. We're using like a pound of weight, which does get expensive at the tackle shops. But depending on the current that day, you really have to use a lot of weight or a little weight to get down. So it just depends. But right. I just wanted to mention too that the particular sky cliff that we've been talking about is located in 200 feet of water and it's standing upright. It's a 370 that. Bleh, bleh, bleh. 200. It's, it's a 317 foot freighter and it's standing upright like I said and it's facing north uh, south to north basically with it pointing more to the east but it holds all kinds of fish throughout the year uh, different types of fish move in and it's just a great way to catch fish especially when it might be slow out there or just to bend some rods with your family yeah it's awesome and they sink those on purpose first down here just to create reefs and structure for fish to collect on exactly and uh, another wreck we use is called the Budweiser bar but we're gonna put all those links uh, down in, in the description below for those couple wrecks that we hit today and uh, anything else to our sizzle? No, I think that's it. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thank you guys so much as always for watching this video. We truly do appreciate you. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.